what's up it's alicia welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a pretty impromptu video it honestly has been sitting on my heart for the past like three or four days now to give you guys just a little bit of insight of where i am mentally but also to encourage you guys that it is okay to not be okay and i think the reason why it's been on my heart um so much for the past like three or four days is because we recently just got through mother's day and this particular mother's day was really 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 hard for me and i'll go ahead and insert um the instagram story that i posted on mother's day good morning you guys can you say hi boo boo hi. <laughs> happy mother's day to all the moms out there and that goes for like any kind of mom whether you're biological mom adopted mom um like any kind of if you are trying to have kids if you have angel babies like all of us i'm celebrating with you guys um because it could be a hard day for some I, it's been honestly it's been a really hard day and a really hard week for me so like yeah I just want to say happy Mother's Day if you're expecting to happy Mother's Day um but yeah it's just it's a great it's just great to be a mom and to be Valerie's mom and if you guys know where we're going <laughs> yeah she's wearing a mingo <laughs> a mingo um but yeah it's just amazing to be Valerie's mom and so yeah, we are doing our regular <laughs> We're doing our regular Sunday tradition where like we went to church earlier and usually what I'll do is I'll get um some Shipley's for us afterwards. <laughs> so she I think is getting hyped up off the sugar. <laughs> um so yeah, anyways, hope you guys have a great Mother's Day and I'm celebrating with y'all and I just hope y'all have a wonderful day. In that video, you guys can see that I was just really emotional. I think I cried at least like 10 times that day and to be honest, I think it was just so many different emotions of why I was just so emotional on Mother's Day. For one, I think it just hit me really, really, really hard that I am now a single mom. Like, I'm really doing this <laughs> and I am, you know, I'm on my own now. And so I think it was just a mixture of that being hit with the reality of me being a single mom. And I think also, to be honest, it was just like how different this Mother's Day was in comparison to last Mother's Day. And I've, I've been trying to figure out how to say this without sounding um, like spoiled or sounding like I'm not grateful because I 100% am. But last Mother's Day, like it was a great Mother's Day. I was spoiled and it was just like, it was just like all the attention was kind of like on me for just that one day, which, you know, honestly, it was nice as a mom, like having that one day to ourself was just so nice. Whereas this Mother's Day, it was just so different. I spent all day with Valerie, which of course is hands down my favorite thing to do. But it was just so different because I had to do the spoiling for myself. <laughs> so if I wanted a certain meal that day, I had to make it for myself or go do it for myself, which of course, like I'm saying, is not bad at all. Like I'm not saying doing things for yourself is wrong at all. It's just, I think it was just the reality of like how different this Mother's Day was in comparison to last Mother's Day. So I was hit with that reality. Um, but I think it was also guilt because I think I felt so guilty y'all because I was so emotional that day. But I just kept seeing Valerie and y'all, she was just so happy, like spending time with her mom. And she was like smiling from ear to ear all day. We had just celebrated her birthday last week. So she has, she just, she's always so happy. I think I just felt so much guilt because I was like, God has blessed me with the, like the biggest blessing in the world. Like she is amazing. But here I am like still being super emotional and just being a little bit sad, honestly, just a little bit sad. And it was just not the best day for me, to be honest. And so I think all those emotions wrapped up in one. And then, of course, also just reminiscing over the past two years with Valerie being her mom and like all those really good emotions. It was just a lot <laughs> like y'all. I felt like I got hit with like 
a ton of emotions all at once and I could not contain them. Like I had, I had to let it out. Like I could not contain it. I had to cry and just cry it out and get it out because to be honest with y'all, I hadn't cried since probably December. November, December-ish is when last time I cried. So it's been quite a while. And it's not that I had been like balling them up or keeping them like kind of like suppressed, but I think it was just that day, it just hit me and it hit me hard. So I say all that to say, um, we will all have like ups and downs. <laughs> like I think if I've learned anything from this experience and going through the divorce and just like having an extremely um, crazy emotional roller coaster, I realized that we will all, 100% all have ups and downs, like good days and bad days. And I say it so much on this channel that I still have my bad days. You guys don't see it, but I really truly have some bad days where I'm just not feeling it. Like I am just not in the best mood. I'm like grumpy Alicia. Like I still have, you know, I still have my bad days. But I think sometimes you guys think that because you, because you don't see the bad times that I'm trying to portray like I'm perfect or that I'm always happy, but that is not the case. Like I honestly have bad moments just like you may have bad moments. But the thing is to remember that it's okay to have those bad days and it's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to like have a bad day. Like it's, there's nothing wrong with it. And I think because you know, there's a stigma of being the strong woman or the strong black women. And I personally pride myself on being strong. I feel like I'm able to just run with it and whether things work out in my favor or not, or what I think I want, um, if it happens or, or if it doesn't, I'm able to kind of pick up the piece and then keep moving. And I pride myself on that. But I will say that I also acknowledge the fact that I cannot be strong all the time like I just can't and there are days where like on Sunday where I just I can't keep it together I have to let it out and honestly it's better to just get it out and cry it out and be sad and if it takes a day a week like whatever it's okay to just live and experience those feelings because I think it helps us along the process along our journey and sometimes you just have to feel all of those um, not so positive emotions, more of those negative, you know, emotions. You have to feel them in order to get through and keep pushing. It is 100% okay for me to live in the moment, to feel the feelings that I'm feeling because my feelings are valid and your feelings are valid. I have so many people who will tell me, Alicia, like, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel how you're feeling. Like, it's normal. You're, it's expected for you to feel this way. I even had a conversation with one of my friends um on Sunday night just about like how I was feeling like why I was so emotional and she was like Alicia this is totally normal you should feel that way and you should let out those feelings it's not okay for you to kind of keep keep them bottled up and so I guess I just want to encourage you guys and let you guys know that if you are having a bad day or if you aren't feeling your best it is okay and don't let anybody else tell you that it's not okay to to feel what you are feeling because your feelings are valid. People may not always understand it, but your feelings are valid. Whether you are hurt, whether you are anything, like your feelings are valid. It's just all a part of the process, y'all. And because I'm going through such like a emotional year, a year focused on healing and self-care and just self-awareness, I am trying to make sure that I recognize those feelings, that I recognize the emotions that I'm having and make sure that I process them in the best way that I can. So that way, as I move forward, they don't um, hold me back. And I've told y'all so many times that I feel like whatever happens in life, it happens for a reason. And so I think knowing that, like that's always in the back of my head. I always know no matter what, without a shadow of a doubt, that whatever happens is for a reason. I believe that God has something greater for us. Um, so I just keep that always. I just repeat it to myself all the time. There's something better. There's something greater. There's something better out there for me. Some Someone better out there for me. Like God has a plan. And I believe that even though 
it can be hard like trusting God's plan because I'm the first person to admit that I am not always the best at trusting his plan. I feel like it's always a work in progress for me. And so I just try to remind myself God has a plan. His plan is always best no matter what. And I just have to keep believing that and trusting that. And even though it's hard, just to remind myself over and over and over that God has a plan and his plan is the best plan. I think the key here though is to not let those emotions get you down for too long. You know, after a certain amount of time, we should start learning from those emotions, start processing them, and then allow us to grow from it and move on with our lives. Like, don't let those negative emotions keep you down for too long. We want to move forward. We want to progress. We want to grow. So take those emotions and learn from them, grow from them, and use them as a step stool in life. So yeah, I just want to share that with y'all. And just to encourage y'all that if you feel like you have to be the strong friend or the strong mom or the strong whoever, the strong girlfriend, the strong wife, the strong daughter, like whatever the case is, you can have human feelings like everybody else. This life thing is crazy. I know it is so, so, so crazy, but I am on that journey with you. I am right there with you. None of us are perfect, but I just really hope that I am just like some sort of vessel and giving some sort of light out to you guys and just encouraging y'all and I don't know just I, I just want us all to win <laughs> and I want us all to to grow mentally emotionally spiritually I'm always here to help you guys out and I never want you guys to think that you know having a bad day or having all these emotions that may be considered bad I don't want y'all to ever feel like it's taking a step back or that you're kind of like you know going backwards I want you to feel like this is a part of the journey this is a part of the process this is a part of your healing that's how I feel I don't take it as me you know taking a step back or failing I see it as me um just learning and just growing and becoming the person I'm supposed to be and I feel like I can't get to that level without you know having gone through some things and having you know gone through some emotion and some real life issues so never take it as you know you feeling or you you know taking steps back it's all a part of your journey we all have different journeys just chalk it up to the fact that this is all a part of your journey and you are growing and you will become the person that God has called you to become so yeah I love you guys so 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 much <laughs> um have a wonderful day a wonderful week and of course as always I will see you all in the next video bye guys mm.